Hi, I'm Henry Yim, the author of The Hearts of Game Changers, which is a book with 365 days worth of quotes for positive thinking. Today, we'll be talking about this quote from Plato. The beginning is the most important part of the work. Plato was an ancient Greek philosopher who wrote many works about philosophy. His most important work in the field is considered to be a book titled The Republic, where he tries to answer the question, what is justice? In the book, he tries to define justice at an individual level and at a societal level. The Republic is divided into 10 separate books, and it's in book two of The Republic where we find our quote, the beginning is the most important part of the work. In book two, one of the characters, Glaucon, argues that justice only exists because people are scared of the punishments and the suffering from doing injustice. Glaucon is arguing people would be willing to practice injustice if there is nothing stopping them from doing it. And justice is voluntary. Another character in the book, Socrates, who was Plato's teacher, disagrees and tries to reason how justice is inherently better than injustice. Socrates proposes that justice must be focused on the state or city level opposed to an individual level. Then he explains to Glaucon step by step how humans can build a just society. One part of Socrates' envisioned society was censoring Greek literary tales because they included subjects such as immorality and violence that could disrupt models of virtuous thoughts for young people. Here's the quote in the context of a passage of text in The Republic. You know that the beginning is the most important part of any work, especially in the case of a young and tender thing, for that is the time at which the character is being formed and the desired impression is more readily taken. Shall we just carelessly allow children to hear any casual tales which may be devised by casual persons, and to receive into their minds ideas, for the most part, the very opposite of those which we should wish them to have when they are grown up? We cannot. Anything received into the mind at that age is likely to become indelible and unalterable, and therefore it is most important that the tales which the young first hear should be models of virtuous thoughts. Through Socrates' words, Plato is expressing how important the beginning of any endeavor is for the success of the rest of the journey. While Plato's writings were concerned about the education of children, this lesson can be applied to other aspects in life. It's important to start any project with a positive mentality, with determination and strength. In this quote, Plato says that a young mind can be easily persuaded the wrong way which is a metaphor for the beginning of any project. At the beginning, you are more susceptible to bad influences or mistakes that can change the trajectory of the rest of your project because you're just starting out and you're new at what you're doing. This is why it's so important to establish a good foundation in the beginning with a good mindset and good habit. Having a good mindset involves being determined and thinking positively about your work, so you won't give up in the future. Developing good habits ensures that you're doing the right thing without making costly errors. For example, if you're constructing a building, you want to make sure you're always using the right material. Or if you're learning a skill, you want to make sure you're learning from a credible source. The beginning of any project will always be difficult, but once you establish good habits and a good mindset, the rest of the project will be easier and less susceptible to mistake. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and learning the importance of starting out strong. For more quotes, check out my book, The Hearts of Game Changers, with the link in the description.